Hi, good morning, students. I am Vaishakhi Shah from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. In our subject called Fluid Mechanics and Hydraulics, we started our module which is Fluid Kinematics and Fluid Dynamics. Okay. So, first of all, uh, quickly we are uh, revising the terms Fluid Kinematics and Fluid Dynamics. So, in a Fluid Kinematics, the fluid is in moving condition. Remember that in fluid kinematics, fluid is in moving condition, but we are not considering forces for that movement. And in fluid dynamics, fluid is in moving condition and, but here the difference is, we are considering forces applicable for that movement, okay. So now let's see, in today's session, we will discuss velocity potential function and stream function. So let's start with velocity potential function. So, what is velocity potential function? The definition of velocity potential function is, it is defined as function of space and time such that its negative derivative with respect to any direction gives the velocity in that direction. Okay, this is the definition of velocity potential function. Okay. First of all, in last lecture, we derived a continuity equation for 3D flow. What was the continuity equation? Del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z equals to 0. That was the continuity equation for 3D flow. In that equation, what are u, v and w? u is the velocity in x direction, v velocity component in y direction and w is a velocity component in z direction okay now as per this definition here a uh, velocity potential function its negative derivative with respect to any direction here there are three directions x y and z gives velocity in that direction so velocities are u v and w so you can say that u that is velocity in x direction is negative derivative that is minus del phi by del x here phi is velocity potential function velocity potential function is indicated as phi so you can say that u equals to minus del phi by del x where u that is your velocity differentiation of velocity potential function with respect to that direction that direction is your x and here negative derivative we are taking so your sign is negative same way you can write down v which is velocity in y direction so v equals to minus del phi by del y and third component w so w equals to minus del phi by del z so negative derivative of velocity potential function with respect to that direction so directions are x y and z gives you velocity components in that direction which are u v and w clear velocity potential function now velocity potential function is indicate as phi remember that indicate as phi okay so now here u v and w are the components of velocity in x y and z directions clear so moving further now we know that continuity equation for incompressible steady flow what is the continuity equation yes del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z equals to zero now we have the equation for u v and w here where u minus del phi by del x v minus del phi by del y and w minus del phi by del z so placing substituting the values of u v and w from the previous equation so your equation becomes like this minus del by de, uh, minus del by del x minus del of uh, sorry uh, del phi by del x into del by del x plus del by del y into minus del phi by del y plus del by del z uh, del y into 
minus del phi by del z equals to 0. Here we are substituting values in this equation. So, your final equations become minus del, uh, sorry, del square phi upon del x square plus del square phi upon del y square plus del square phi upon del z square equals to 0. Now, this equation is known as Laplace equation. Remember that del square phi upon del x square plus del square phi upon del y square plus del square phi upon del z square equals to 0. We derive this equation and this equation is known as Laplace equation. Clear? Okay. Now moving further with the, our next function which is called stream function. We discussed velocity potential function which was indicated as phi. Now another function is called stream function and stream function is indicated as psi. Remember the, the sign psi. So the definition of stream function. It is defined as scalar function of space and time such that its partial derivative with respect to any direction. Here we are taking partial derivative with respect to any direction gives velocity component at velocity component at right angle to that direction. Mark my words here that velocity component at right angle to that direction. So, here we know that the directions are x, y and z and velocity components are u, v and w. So, here both are velocity components and direction both are right angle to each other. So, your equation for v become del psi by del x because component and direction are orthogonal to each other. So, you can say that v equals to del psi. Psi is your stream function. So, v equals to del psi upon del x and u equals to del psi by del y. Here we are taking negative sign in case of u. So, u equals to del psi by del y but we are taking minus u here. Remember that v is your positive term and u is your negative term. So, u equals to minus del psi by del y. Clear? So, this is your stream function and it is defined only for two dimensional flow. Remember that stream function is only for 2D flow, two dimensional flow. There are two directions only x and y. Now, as we know that continuity equation for two dimensional flow, del u by del x plus del v by del y equals to 0. We have the equations for u and v here. So, del by del x into minus del psi by del y. Del by del x into minus del psi by del y plus del by del y into del psi by del x equals to 0. We place the equation for u and v in continuity equation. So, our equation become minus del square phi upon del x into del y plus del square phi upon del y into del x equals to 0. Okay. So, we derive this equation for stream function. Clear? So, we discussed two types of functions. First was velocity potential function and second is stream function. Now, we are using this relationship between stream function and velocity potential function for solving examples and our next theory also. So, first of all, we quickly revise that the velocity potential function is where u minus del phi by del x and v minus del phi by del y. Okay. In a stream function, remember this relationship. In a stream function, v equals to del psi upon del x and u equals to minus del psi by del y. 
so ultimately you can write down you can compare both the equations for u and v then your equation for u that is minus del phi by del x equals to minus del psi by del y so your equation for u that is you can write down you can prove a relationship which is del phi by del x equals to del psi by del y here we compare both the equation for u and both the equations for the v same way in a stream function you can write down v equals to minus del phi by del y okay equals to del psi by del x so your relationship become del psi uh, by del x minus equals to del phi by del y this both relationships are very important for solving our examples okay clear now moving further our uh, next theory where first is equipotential line equipotential line okay we just discussed velocity potential function phi now you can resemble this name equipotential line equipotential so equal potential so equipotential line is a line along which velocity potential function is constant as we know that velocity potential function is phi the line connecting the same points where velocity potential function is constant that line is called equipotential line okay so for equipotential line phi equals to constant so if you are finding d phi differentiation of phi then d phi equals to 0 so if we are considering here phi is a function of x and y phi is a function of x and y then d phi equals to del phi by del x square plus uh, here we applied the chain rule here huh? chain rule so d phi equals to del phi by del x into dx plus del phi by del y into dy this is a chain rule which we studied in our subject maths so d phi equals to by applying chain rule d phi equals to del phi by del x into dx plus del phi by del y into dy here we know that what is del phi by del x minus u del phi by del x that is minus u so placing that del phi by del x equals to minus u into dx and del phi by del y del phi by del y is your v so plus v into dy uh, sorry minus v into dy equals to 0 okay this is the equation which we derived in our velocity potential function so del phi by del x that is minus u and del phi by del y that is minus v or oh, and here as we know that d phi equals to 0 so by placing all the value in equation you get that dy upon dx making dy by dx as your subject then dy by dx equals to minus u by v minus u by v and this dy by dx is slope of equipotential line which line equipotential line dy by dx is a slope of equipotential line clear now our next line which is streamline as we know in a equipotential line velocity potential function is constant so for a streamline when stream function is constant so that line is called stream line where we are, when you are connecting the points where stream function psi is constant so that line is called stream line so here psi equals to constant so del psi equals to 0 now again we are considering psi 
एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो अगेन अप्लाइंग द चेन रूल रिमेंबर हियर वी आर अगेन वी आर अप्लाइंग द चेन रूल सो डी साई इक्वल्स टू डेल साई बाय डेल एक्स इंटू डी एक्स प्लस डेल साई बाय डेल वाई इंटू डी वाई दिस इज योर चेन रूल ओके एज वी नो दैट डेल साई बाय डेल एक्स इज माइनस वी सो माइनस वी इंटू डी एक्स प्लस डेल साई बाय डेल वाई दैट इज यू सो यू इंटू डी वाई एंड डेल साई दैट इज जीरो डी साई दैट इज जीरो सो अर इक्वेशन इज लाइक दिस माइनस यू वी इंटू डी एक्स प्लस यू इंटू डी वाई इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ मेकिंग सब्जेक्ट डी वाई बाय डी एक्स दैट इज स्लोप ऑफ अ स्ट्रीम लाइन डी वाई बाय डी एक्स इज अ स्लोप ऑफ द स्ट्रीम लाइन सो डी वाई बाय डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू वी बाय यू क्लियर फॉर इक्वी पोटेंशियल लाइन वी डिराइव डी वाई बाय डी एक्स दैट इज माइनस यू बाय वी स्लोप ऑफ इक्वी पोटेंशियल लाइन एंड फॉर स्ट्रीम लाइन वी डिराइव डी वाई बाय डी एक्स दैट इज वी बाय यू विच इज स्लोप ऑफ स्ट्रीम लाइन नाउ इफ यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस टू स्लोप्स then your answer is minus 1 if you are multiplying these two slopes then your answer is minus 1 so hence you can prove that the velocity potential line or equipotential line and stream lines are orthogonal to each other these two lines are orthogonal to each other because multiplication of slope for both the line is minus 1 which indicates that these two lines are orthogonal to each other clear so hence we proved that this question is asked so many times for in uh, in your exam that prove that uh, streamline and equipotential line are orthogonal to each other so first of all you have to find the slope for a uh, streamline then you have to find out slope for equipotential line and at last you can multiply multiply slopes for the two line and which is minus 1 so hence prove that these two lines are orthogonal to each other okay so done for the today now in next uh, lecture we will discuss some examples based on velocity potential function and stream function okay Goodbye